We're here on the Carnival Vista, and it's our last day. This is the sad day. We're going to pack up. But first, we're going to head down. We're going to get some breakfast in the dining room, which is the first time we've had breakfast in the dining room. Later on, we're going to watch the new movie Beetlejuice in an IMAX theater that's aboard the ship. Crazy, isn't it? We're going to check out the ship one last time. We might do some swimming. Dawn, Jamie, you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this breakfast on. Get the breakfast on. Get the breakfast on. 7271, deck seven. Should come back cleaned up. Yeah, I know. They're pretty <laughs> quick about that. Oh, they're, they're pretty. And the ship is really rocking today. It is really moving. And then later on, we're going to be coming to the IMAX theater here. And um, we're going to be watching Beetlejuice. Yep, there is an IMAX theater right on the ship. Isn't that crazy? Oh, we gotta go down, yes. Yep, that's where we're going. Um, four. And the one thing I do miss is they don't put the days of the week on the floor. I, cause I always made it a point on our other cruises to, to show everybody what day it is. Today is Friday, and we get off Saturday morning. Deck four. They got Cat in a Hat themed. <laughs> yeah, Cat in a Hat. So they're having a Cat in a Hat themed breakfast for kids it's thirty dollars a person we decided to opt out because it's going to be all kids but they have green eggs and ham and and all that that jazz and i gotta do some shopping today some last minute shopping so we have to do that as well but isn't that cute i didn't see no grinchy stuff though man like it'd be cool if they had a grinch grinch themed they should have a grinch themed night yeah where everybody dresses up as like green and stuff. That'd yeah. be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It would be. And we're gonna head through the casino. Uh oh, nobody won that great big ball of money yet. Nobody won the ball money ball. Nobody won the money ball. You feel like you're in Las Vegas, don't you? <laughs> this is the bigger casino on the ship, too. This is the biggest casino we've ever seen on a ship. And it's the most busiest and packed one as well. And breakfast at Horizons. Good morning. Ah, breakfast in the main dining room. Oh, looks like we're right here. There you go, Dawn. Five, four, six. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. How about you? Good, 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 good. Good. Coffee to do? Not for me. Mm -hmm. Hi, you not know, ready? Oh, you're fine. I was just like, good. No, I didn't mm -hmm. break this one, so. They got steak and eggs with, pepper, with creamy peppercorn sauce on it, fried chicken. They also have burgers. You can get burgers. Yeah, so they do have grits on the menu. I know someone was asking about grits. I think we made a mistake and we should have been coming down here every day for breakfast because the menu here, it was a better selection than the buffet. And so um, I highly recommend that. But it's not always easy because you gotta sit down and this could take an hour or so yeah. to do this. So it's, it's a little bit slower of a process. Even on your last day if you don't have any excursions. You yeah, know. but uh, yeah, definitely recommend. And they had everything, they had really good stuff. They had chicken yeah. and waffles, they had steak and eggs, they had everything, didn't they? Yeah. 
this is not our last breakfast. We will have our last lunch today and our last dinner aboard. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool dining room. So they brought a bread basket. Oh my goodness. We got um, some croissants, some um, danishes. Oh my goodness, Don. You know something? This is probably one of the best croissants that we've had like out there in a cruise ship. To be honest with you, it's really good. They're flaky and warm and They're warm, yeah, yeah, very, very good. So I ordered some French toast and take a look at that. It looks amazing. Got a little bit of maple syrup over here. It feels piping hot. And uh, I just love the edges on it. Oh my goodness. So my breakfast is here. I ordered chicken and waffles. Got some syrup. Um, and I ordered some corned beef hash and a couple of um, hash browns. What'd you get, Dawn? I ordered the steak with the eggs and it came with the french fries with the steak. Oh wow. And then some potatoes. Some potatoes. Yeah. Some, looks really good. And then you got an omelet. Ham and cheese omelet. Um, some bacon. And obviously some cool hash browns. Hash browns, all right. <laughs> looks good. Corned beef hash is really good and the chicken is very tasty as well. Dawn's making way with that egg. steak and eggs and some french fries. Hi, I am the rubbery waffle. Ah. What did you think of breakfast? It was good. It was good. I highly suggest doing the dining room for breakfast on the ship. So Dawn says she wants to play the fishy game. She's gonna put in five dollars. She loves a little this little fishy game. And she has a fishy purse while playing the fishy game. <laughs> you got two dollars and eighty cents left. Dawn lost her ten dollars very quickly. Didn't last very long, did it? No. Three the, seconds. The fish did dance a little. Yeah. They did. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pins for the map while I'm here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these pins for the map. I think I'll put them out in the Atlantic somewhere on the map, but pretty cool. It's four of them, and they they want twelve dollars for them. We came back to the room and we have a swan. And it says, thank you. Everybody is uh, waiting in line. Wow. I'm so excited for the juices loose. Oh, wow. Look at There's a huge movie theater in here. Look at it. It's a pretty big theater. Yeah. I think these chairs rock. Yeah, they got the nice reclining. Do they? Oh, they do. They a recline. little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah. And the ship's going up and down, too. Yeah. You could really feel it today. It is an IMAX theater, I'm though. Like, pretty crazy, huh? That's pretty cool. I've never been to an IMAX theater, so yeah. we're going to see. The juice is loose. It is. He is. <laughs> it will be. You didn't bring the, the, the warrior with you. No, nah, he, he stayed back in the room. <laughs> he stayed back in the room. He's scared of He doesn't. Bill just frightens him. <laughs> he forgot to bring the warrior. The wise warrior. So what did you get, Don? I got some Reese's Pieces. Five more minutes. Five minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. That was pretty cool. It was good. Cool. Yeah. What do you think, Don? I like it. Really they do like 3D in here, too. Pretty crazy. You don't even feel like you're at sea. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Poor Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so bad for him. Can you believe we were at sea and we watched a movie? <laughs> That's crazy. It's hot out here. Oh, it is muggy. She's a muggy one. And we, yeah, we're at sea too. In the middle of the Atlantic. It is 1.42. It is 2 o'clock. It's lunchtime. And there's one place we haven't eaten on the ship. The Guy Fieri's Burger Joint. 
we're gonna do that. Now we had their barbecue, his barbecue, yeah, in the first couple days of the cruise. Don didn't care for that. No. So hopefully the burgers are better. Yeah. And I think we're gonna have dinner in the main dining room tonight, and then we gotta pack up. We're gonna pack, pack up. all this up, and we're gonna explore the ship a little bit more. And um, seas are pretty rough, isn't it? Yeah, today it is. The pool is crowded. And we're gonna do a little Guy Fieri. So they have the plain Jane, the ringer, the straight up, big patty. Plain Jane ringer. What are you gonna get? Ranch, ketchup, mayo, mustard, and so that's a guy. Fietti burger on the ship. Got some bacon. Of course, it's a cheeseburger, onion, chili cheese fries, and ketchup. We got the same thing I did. Just the plain Jane. It's a plain Jane burger, some pickles. Yeah. Look at that burger. Holy moly. And here is lunch. Time for a little mini golf. Oh. Where'd it go? It's over there somewhere. There it is. Golfing, huh? Yeah, I'm not very good at it. I love oh, sure. <laughs> I hate golf. <laughs> it's not relaxing at all. <laughs> they don't like ya. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you won already. <laughs> oh, I won. Oh. There, I kicked it. Oh, my goalie. <laughs> Did Cheater! So we are going to head to the pool. We're not going to have dinner tonight in the main dining room. Instead, we're going to have it at the, the Lido, which we haven't had dinner at the Lido. So we're going to do that. We're just going to grab a little uh, you know, odds and ends, yeah, little small, bites. Something small. Yeah. Something small. And then we're just going to do some swimming tonight. The sun will set, and that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And then later on, I think we're going to catch maybe a couple of shows. we got to still pack. We haven't yeah. packed yet. Yeah, gotta do that. <laughs> gotta do that, and then that's it. And it's time to get into the pool. watching movies in a pool. Yep. Something different. <laughs> Water slides up there. It was fun swimming around in the pool. Now we're just sitting here watching some movie about imaginary friends or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're just kind of, kind of chilling here. Our last dinner on board. Mashed potatoes. I took a little bit of everything, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. It's not that bad. It looks worse than what it is. I also tried someone try some of their dessert over here. 
What'd you get, Don? All kinds of good stuff. Some carrots, some broccoli, a couple fried green tomatoes. I, I just threw it all in one bowl because they're cleaning out the mini bird. Yeah. A little rack of lamb. Rack, rack of lamb. Some fresh fruit and a couple of desserts. You know, I noticed that some of the entrees that are in the dining room tonight are in the buffet every mm-hmm. night. So you technically, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can get it right there, too. If you don't grab it. You ain't getting nothing. Yeah. Know. And Jamie's got a salad. I destroyed it. <laughs> you got a little bit of a salad tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. And we are packing up. Taking all this stuff and putting it in its place, right? Trying to. <laughs> trying to, yeah. Trying to. And then um, in the morning, we'll have, to, we'll have to get off. And everybody's put their luggage out. And now it's time to remove... The magnets. And all the magnets. Okay. Until next time, magnets. But Dawn says we got an upper game. We got an upper game. Yeah. You need to up it. So we're going to have to go do something messed up, right? Yeah. <laughs> something wild and crazy. Because we're a couple of wild, crazy guys. Remember that? Yeah. That was from Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's right. I was trying to remember. Something like that. Yep. I think we got everything packed. We got Big Blue over here. We're going to take one last look around the ship, see what's going on, see what kind of entertainment. Sometimes they have these parties, like going away parties, so we'll see if they got one of those going on. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hit the bed because we're just tired. We were tired. You know, we ran. We ran pretty hard. Mm -hmm. It's been humid and hot. That was the thing. The humidity just really slowed it down. But anyways. Hunger Games. Yeah. Yeah. And bye bye ice cream. Very interesting theming in these dining rooms, and I love the trees in the dining room as well. Got these nice high tops here, but um, not many folks down here tonight. Fantasy Park next to us. Good morning, everyone. Folks, we are getting ready to disembark the ship. They're already starting to call different groups. I think we're about 9 o'clock-ish. We're going to go ahead and get a real quick breakfast. We have to make us quick. Yeah, they want everybody off. And let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, goodbye. Yeah, beautiful view for breakfast this morning. Last breakfast. Goodbye, Carnival Vista. Er- Everybody ready? Yeah. We're all ready? Yeah. So Let's go. go. Yes. 
If you make it, we'll make it. That's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't uh, work it in. I'm waiting on y'all. Take care, okay? I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all. Uh, and we're getting off the ship. Oh my gosh, uh, Woo -wee. Big Blue carries itself. <laughs> pretty, pretty easy getting through. All you, all you do is take a picture of you, and there's two uh, U.S. Customs guys. They're just like, just look at you as you walk by. Back to the parking garage. That was wild. <laughs> there it is, the old 300. What did you think about the cruise? What did you think about everything? Uh, uh, it, it went a little rocky at first, and then as it went on, it got a little bit better. And a I agree bit better. with you. Yeah, it I was rocky. And I guess we all talked about this. This, this cruise was totally different than any other cruise we've ever been on. Yeah, um, it was rocky. And I, I don't. We had a good time. We had a great time. Anytime you're cruising, you're gonna have a good time. And I don't want any, this to the, discourage anybody from going on a carnival cruise. It could have just been our particular cruise, especially with our propulsion issues. It just seems like this thing was plagued from the get go. And and also when you book a cruise, it says they can change the itinerary, and there's nothing you can do about it. And they don't have to offer you refunds. They don't have to offer you credits or nothing. Mm -hmm. So they did give us a $200 in room credit, um, which goes really fast on a cruise ship. You can barely buy a few things. And, you know, we used ours on the excursion, helped with the excursion. Um, and we did do, um, we got to see Beetlejuice on the IMAX Theater on the Sea. That was amazing. Um, but... Other than that, they did give us the option of canceling. We could have canceled it a couple, uh, two days before, but we were already knee deep in this. You know what I mean? And you had your time off, yeah. and we just said we're going to go to the Bahamas, even though the yeah. Bahamas is a cheaper cruise compared. You know, we actually <laughs> booked this cruise for its itinerary, mm -hmm. and we didn't get that. So of we course, and everybody on ship we talked to, they felt the same way. So of course that we were on the same boat. <laughs> yeah, that was in the back of everybody's heads. But you know, everybody on board looked like they were having a good time. Yeah, they made the yeah. best of it. They did make the best of it. Mm -hmm. um, getting into our room, um, the room was was okay. It was good. It was comfortable. It was a good location. Yeah, it was a great location. Amazing location. Other than the smoking area below us. But yeah. it was so great to get off the elevator and our room was right there. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't noisy in the hallway. Yeah. It wasn't a noisy room at all. Um, the room was pretty good. We met our room attendant once, and once only. We <laughs> never seen it. anybody. They were, like, in yeah. and out. We didn't. Where other cruises, we always, like, every morning you open the door, and your room attendant's like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> you know? And it's like, so, um, yes, um, the room was great. Um, it's just basic room. It's a little smaller, I think, than some of the other cruises. Yeah. I also noticed this ship felt more packed, the ship itself. I don't know if they've really just jammed a lot of people on this particular cruise, but it just seems like there's a lot more people than any other cruise we've been on. And we've been on some bigger ships. Yeah. Like the Adventure of the Sea is a bigger ship. Um, the uh, MSC is a bigger ship. So that, with that being said, um, trying to go through everything. The food, it, it was mid. It's the way the kids would say today. It was mid. I know, Jamie, you were struggling trying to find the right combinations of things, right? Well, we may do, though. Yeah, it, it worked. It worked. Um, and, and it was good. It was good food. It just it was very limited, right? The guys' burgers and fri the fries were good. You like the fries? I like the fries at Guy's Burgers. Guy's was, was good. <laughs> it was good. Um, I didn't really care for the blue... Uh, Liguana. Liguana. Yeah, or, yeah, was it the blue Liguana? No, or blue, blue Cantina. The blue Cantina. That's what it was. Didn't really care for it. I think it's something because I... I made the concoction. My, it just was bad. I, that's the my eggs fault. Were runny. The that eggs was were my runny. fault to to use that combination, right? Um, I never went back to it. But the guys was good. The, um, the the dining room was good. The folks there were nice, yeah. um, and it was great. Everybody was great. Um, we met a lot of folks, a lot of new friends on board. We met some subscribers. You guys out there watching us? Actually, we ran into three different couples. Yeah. And if you guys are out there, thank Hi. you so much for stopping, and saying hi. We really appreciated. Uh, you all out there, you guys were, were amazing. And we got to see you throughout the whole cruise and we got to talk. And uh, it was great. hopefully we can keep in touch, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, keep in touch. They were great. They were, they were great. 
Um, the ship itself was a pretty ship. Uh, it's only eight years old, and it has these propulsion issues. It's been having these these issues since the get go. This is mm -hmm. not the first time the ship has been plagued with this from the get go. And it's sister, I believe it's sister ships like the Horizon. I'm not sure. I don't want to say any names, but the other ships have problems too. It's a design issue mm -hmm. with that particular ship and the propulsion. I believe our ship is coming out of dry dock, or it's going to go into dry dock for a week to have Suddenly it worked on. Mm -hmm. I guess, Dawn, would you do Carnival again? With all these other cruise out, cruises out there, I'd like to try some different ones too. So. Well, that's our goal. Our goal is to yeah. do all the other cruise lines or try to do them. And um, I think we'll do Carnival again. But we do have about six or seven other cruise lines that we want to kind of hammer out. Yeah. So, I guess in a nutshell, the staff was amazing. The ship had its problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there was, everybody did good. You know, the two previous cruises before this, there was like a mutiny going on. And people were just upset about their itineraries. But this cruise being that our itinerary was 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 jacked so badly. Everybody got along. Everybody was great. Yeah. No problems. Um, Everybody's very talkative and friendly yeah, yeah. for the most part. And that's pretty much cruising. And I know this is your first time yeah, cruising. It's my first time. That's pretty yeah. much cruising and, and no matter what ship you go on. Yeah. You always make new friends you stay in contact yeah, with. Yeah, people are very friendly. That's true. Um, that's very true. Cruisers do get along. Kind of like Jeepers. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's a crowd. And then, like they said before, either you're going to like cruising or you're gonna hate cruising and there's no in between. What do you think, Janie, your first time? Like I said, it's my first time, so um, uh, this is this is it is what it is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is gonna be like you have nothing to compare it with. Yeah, I have nothing to compare yeah. it with, to be honest. And with um, this being our fourth, it was very, very we told you that this is not normal, this Jamie. Not normal, this is not so. normal. But I'm just I'm just blessed to be able to do it. Yes. And um, and even waiting in the line for three hours, I was just blessed that we had a wind. Because it would have been miserable being hot here in Florida. But um, this is like my first cruise, so I really don't have anything to compare to it, to be honest. So if I go another one, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> yeah, another one can be So I don't know at this point. What was your, fa what was your favorite part, Dawn? Like, what was your favorite thing you liked on the on the ship or during this whole cruise? What was your favorite? Um, I don't know. The animal towels. You like the animal yeah, towels? Yeah, the animal that was fun. I enjoyed that. They put a bunch of animal towels out on the pool deck the one day. And if you didn't get them and got to enjoy them, and the, then we were walking through after breakfast and they were gone. Yeah. They took them all off. There's um, some unique ones to go. Yeah. They were really cool. Yeah. Um, usually I say the food on ships are always, but this one wasn't that. Yeah. Um, but I did like everybody's doors being decorated. Yeah, we enjoyed that. Too. And we made a video on that that will be coming out shortly. It's just a, just a dedicated video to the doors of the cruise ship. And there's some creativity out there, just saying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a great cruise all together. Um, we didn't get through the water slides. Uh, we didn't get to do the um, the little tram that went around. Yeah, the lines that were so the long. line were so long, and yeah. the and then the one day they shut it down for a while, and, and it's just we never. And it was so hot up there, and we just like. We never made it. We just never made it. That's how big these ships are. You just you just never made it back to some things. We did play some putt putt. Yeah, yeah, we, we did swim did in the pool. We did swim in the pool. Dawn cheated. She, what? Did, she, she won, but she cheated. No, I didn't. I just I bombed out like everybody else did. Yeah, folks, that's it. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, doesn't matter what happens on a cruise. Uh, there's always something good to see and. Um, you know, I, I went into this not liking the fact that we we're going to go to Freeport. And I actually had pretty fun. I yeah. had a lot of fun in Freeport. You got, got a very sharks, interesting... Got the stick. You just had to make sure you got excursions, you know, in the, Freeport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing in Freeport. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, have you have to get an excursion. So mm -hmm. that's that's a suggestion, right? Yeah. I would you, get an excursion if you're going to Freeport. Because once you get off, there's like just little shops and that's really all it is, folks. Yeah. So that's that's a tip for Freeport. Yeah. Get an excursion. Get an away excursion. from the port. You have to. Start early on mm -hmm. that one, too. So you have plenty of time. Because I'm not, there's really nothing much to do. <laughs> well, folks, that's going to do it. Uh, you can always put comments in, in below. Uh, I know there's a lot of questions about cruises. We try to answer them. We're not, we're nowhere near being experts at cruising. This is our yeah. only fourth cruise we've ever been on. And there's people out there who've been on, there's some 50 cruises. One lady was celebrating 50 cruises. This is our 50th. Yes. That's yes. amazing. <laughs> so 
we can only tell you what mm -hmm. we seen and what we know and but we'll try to help you so put in the comments below uh, if you have any comments about it um and that's that's all um that's it guys our labor day weekend cruise we were kind of celebrating our anniversary a little bit and um, we invited Jamie along because she'd never been on a cruise. We're like, well, we're going to change that. We're we supposed didn't. to go. Somebody's done it already as experts or, or sort of experts. <laughs> well, I mean, I learned a lot. It's like anything. When we were the first ones on a cruise, we were like, we sit there and stared at everything for the longest time. It's good to have, it's good to go on somebody who knows cruises because mm -hmm. you can fit in, you can find things quick. Yeah. And you know the processes of things. I remember our first time, we're like, What's a mustard drill? Right. <laughs> like we're like they're calling our names. They're like you guys better get here and do your mustard. What the heck is that? What the heck is a mustard drill? I'm like what? Our mustard drill was in the casino. It I wasn't. <laughs> I thought we had to go outside with the boats. It wasn't really a mustard drill. That was drill. weird. What it was, we were running so late. The captain just oh, said, I mean, "Sign no, we in and move on." We stood outside for two or three hours before we could board. I guess two people decided they didn't want to go off the ship, and, and that really delayed. So everybody. the rumor on the reason why it took us three hours to get in was that. Somebody was hiding on the ship from <laughs> they the didn't last want cruise. To leave, I don't know why they would do <laughs> that's that. That's a rumor, though. That's all we know is being a rumor. Yeah, but if it is, we're. True I, or I not. think I heard it from two different people. Yeah, so okay. it, it could be a rumor. Yeah, I think there's some truth to it. But guys, that's it. Our cruise. Guys, will you guys like this vlog? Give, Give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming cruising adventures. We do have some more cruises, and Jamie and I think. My mom and sister we're gonna are eventually gonna go with us, so we're gonna have some fun. Also traveling adventures too. Like you know. Yeah. We love you and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.